Hey, what's up, guys? Jesse Rush of Fling God Bows here. And uh, I want to show you guys something that I just found out that's pretty cool. And it's an easy way to distinguish uh, silky dogwood from red osier dogwood, which are both red in the wild and kind of look a lot similar. Very similar. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the main way is the pith in the middle of silky dogwood is going to be brown. Uh, I can show you right here. If my phone, camera phone will... Let's see if I can get this flash off. Bear with me. In the center there, how it's dark in color. Uh, you know, it's the best I can get it to show up. But it's how, see how it's dark? It's, it's like brown. Okay. The brown pith is silky dogwood. Again, just so you can see it. See the brown, the brown pith. Yeah, dang. The light seems to be like blinding my camera, but you can see the center right there. It's brown, okay? okay? Now, again, it's very hard to tell, but this this piece right here that my thumb's touching right now is red osier. And if you look in the center of that, you see how it's white? It may be slightly dark around the outer edges of the pith, but the center of the pith is actually white versus the entire pith being brown, like on this one. You see the pith is brown all the way through. Again, center of the red osier is white. The center of the pith, it's white. That's the number one way to tell, okay? Another way to tell, here's a good example right here. This is a drastic example. This top one is silky dogwood. Okay, these two with the spotties on them, the spotty looking blotches, that's red osier. But you can see down here, this is a silky, this one. And this is red osier. I know they look drastically different right now, but they grow right alongside each other. This is red osier right here on the top, silky, silky. But I'll tell you what, when they're all together growing in a big bunch in a field, it's very hard to tell apart. And I thought this was all red osier until I got it home. And then I realized, I looked up how to tell the difference and I found that the pith is brown and silky dogwood and the pith is white in red osier. Now the identification chart that I found did not say anything about the blotchy on the, on the bark versus the, you know, silky looking bark on the silkies. I mean, you can see red osier these two are silky. This is red osier, silky, red osier, you know, silky. But you see right there, see how them two are both red? They're both red. The top one is silky and the bottom one is red osier. But if you were to find these out in the field, it is very, very hard to tell the difference. So, but with these uh, tips that I'm giving you on this video, you should definitely be able to make out the difference between silky dogwood and red osier dogwood. Uh, red osier, uh, this is the order in which um, dogwood shafts are good for arrows. Number one would be red osier, probably one of the best shafting materials there is besides ocean spray and river cane and Fragmites read, but Fragmites breaks easy. So anyway, this is the order they go for dogwood. Red osier is the best, gray dogwood is the second best, and the third best is silky dogwood. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, the pith in the center of silky dogwood is brown. The pith in the center of red osier is white on the top here where my finger is is silky dogwood back here is silky dogwood this is red osier but growing they are the same size shrub they look the same they all grow out from the central area uh, they grow in the same areas wetland marshy type areas like i said very hard to tell the difference anyways I hope this video was helpful. I've got a lot of arrow shafts to uh, debark. I'm sending my friend Allergic Hobbit some shafting. And uh, 
I'm gonna debark them, mark them down what they are, weigh them, and send them, package them up. So, anyways, I hope this is helpful. I'm Jesse Rush with Flingabos, and uh, take it easy. Say hi, Tegan. Hi.